Hi, this video is going to be about quantitative genetics, breeding and selection. And today's problem is a population of adult mice has a mean body weight of 30 grams. The average weight of mice selected for breeding purposes is 34 grams. The progeny produced by random mating amount this selected parents average 30.5 grams. And today we have three questions. And the first question is the selection differential in grams is so uh, if you know how to solve uh, and answer the three questions you may stop video here uh, if you need the time uh, take your time choose the correct answer for each question and when you will be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations so in order to show you how to solve this problem let me draw a graphic first. So this is going to be our graphic today. And here we have two axes. And this is going to be X axis and this is going to be Y. And here we would have uh, uh, absolute numbers. And here we would have frequencies. And this is going to be bell-shaped curve. And about here, we are going to have mean of our original population. And as you see, as the mean of the original population body weight is 30 grams. And uh, also for uh, breeding purposes, we have to choose um, one shoulder, whether this one or this one. And uh, of course here with this shoulder and about here, we would probably have uh, mice with body weight that is uh, maybe about 20 grams and uh, around here uh, about 40 grams and if we want to choose uh, mice with uh, weight that is more than uh, mean of the original population we have to choose of course uh, here on this shoulder and as you see according to our problem um, for uh, breeding purposes we choose uh, mice that uh, average weight were 34 grams and we can place uh, somewhere around here 34 grams and uh, we can say that uh, we choose our mice somewhere over here so this is going to be uh, average weight but uh, it also means that it can be anywhere between 30 grams and uh, about uh, 38 grams so mean would be uh, 34 grams so this uh, going to be a new mean of the selected population so we use s for selected population and o for the original population mean and according to our problem uh, in F1 generation, uh, body weight of the average body weight of the progeny were 30.5 grams. So this is going to be somewhere around here. New mean of population of uh, this is going to be next generation, F1 generation, and uh, we call this uh, response to selection. So we put R here and uh, weight here would be 30.5. So now we can use these uh, drawings in order to answer our questions. So first question, the selection differential in grams is and here would be selection differential. So original was 30 grams. 
and mean of selection population is 34 grams. So uh, selection differential would be 4 grams. And this is answer B. And second question, uh, the genetic gain in grams is, and as you see, genetic gain is here between uh, original population mean that is 30 grams and response to selection that is 30.5 grams. This is F1 next following generation. So the difference as you see uh, 0 0.5 grams. So here answer would be A. And the last question, the heritability estimate for adult body weight in this population is in other words, uh, the question is how uh, selection differential between 30 grams of uh, original population and 34 grams of the mean of selection relate to the response to selection. And as you see, here we have 4 and here we have 0 0.5. And uh, relation is very simple. In order to answer this question, we just have to divide response to selection, that is 0 0.5, by the um, selection differential, that is uh, 4. And our answer would be 0 0.125. And this is answer C. Once again, here we have selection differential, so this fragment, and we have to give an answer how these two fragments, and this uh, second fragment would be uh, difference between uh, mean of the original population and uh, mean of the response to selection, how these two fragments relate to each other. And I want to remind you formula for total phenotypic variance. So variance total phenotypic would equal to variance total genetic plus variance total environmental. So as you see, uh, some of the mice here that we selected with mean 34 grams body weight were just lucky to be uh, not only good genetics but also to be in good environment. So the body weight or phenotype is due to uh, genetics, superior genetics in our example, plus uh, environment. But uh, of course environment cannot be inherited. That's why uh, response to selection uh, would be, uh, the mean would be much smaller than um, mean of the selected parents. And uh, we also call this uh, regression to the mean of original population. Because only gen genotype can be uh, inherited and environment cannot be inherited. So, uh, as you see, uh, this relation would be, we, we just have to find uh, if this is going to be 100% or uh, what this fragment uh, would be uh, in relation to this fragment. So we have to divide uh, 0 0.5 by 4 and we would find, we would find that this uh, fragment would be 0 0.125 or we can also give an answer as a percentage. We just have to multiply this number by 100 and we can say that this is going to be, this fragment going to be 12.5% of this fragment. So uh, we can give an answer on two scales between 0 and 1 as in our example and between 0 and 100%. We just have to multiply this number by 100. So genetic input would be 12.5% uh, and environmental input would be 87.5%. Uh, 
And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.